Erev Tov, what am I? Still to be shvat, so we're still uh, in, the, in the Chag, you know, so <laughs> we have to be happy, Bezat Hashem, but I have to tell you something interesting, right? The Gemara and the Talmud, Masechet Tanit says uh, several things about after Tu Be'av, what, what happens? You know, it, things change after Tu Be'av. There's a change, you know? What's the change? Number one, it says about the weather, you know? Uh, so what happens? It says, right, after Tu Be'av, the world starts to cool down a little bit, you know? So we get cooler weather, you know? The heat wave is finished, you know, like after Tu Be'av. This is the biggest heat, and then it starts to go down. So it's good, you know? Now we see, right, it's a little bit cooler, you know, a little bit, like, little, little, slowly, right, getting cooler. And, and by the time we get to Rosh Hashanah, you know, right, even before, even Elul, right, it's going to be all, also cooler, you know, well, it's, if we're going to, for sure. But anyway, right, uh, that's one thing, it gets cooler after, you know, after uh, Tu Be'av, number one. Number two, there's also another thing, you know, what happens is that after Tu Be'av, the nights get longer, mm. you know, uh, 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 yeah, 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 the nights get longer and the days get shorter. Why do I tell you this? Because it says, in the, it says in the Talmud, because now the nights are longer, so a person has to learn more Torah at night. This is what it says. Why is that so important? What's the, what's the reason for this? Because what happens is like this, right? In the summer, the night is very short, you know? So you barely have time to eat dinner and sleep, you know, six hours, seven hours, eight hours, depending on your, right, your, your uh, strength, whatever, you know? And that's it. The whole night is over, finished. You know, you don't have really much time in, you know, in the summer. But what happens is that once the night starts getting longer, and you're going towards the winter, right? The autumn and the winter. Now you have more time in the night. So you have now time to study also, you know, some Torah. Not only just to sleep and to eat dinner. Right? There's more time, you know. So don't now take your remote control, right? And turn on, you know, some cable TV, you know. Waste your time with that, right? At night. Learn Torah. This is the right. This is the, the thing to do. Not to watch cable TV or you know to surf in the internet. You know to look for something over there. What are you looking for? What What are you gonna find? It's the same as yesterday. Whatever you had yesterday on the internet, it's also today. The same thing. Nothing has changed, right? And chadash tachat hashamesh. You know, not gonna find anything new over there. Same ridiculous stuff that you found before. But the reason why why is it so important to learn Torah at night? So they say the Chazal right everywhere in the Talmud. And also in the Zohar Kadosh, that whoever learns Torah at night, chut shel chesed oto hayom, oto yom, right? So what does that mean? He gets chesed the next day, because he learned Torah at night, you know? According to the Zohar, this is also more important, even more important after chatzot, you know, which is about one o'clock in, at night. If you learn Torah after one o'clock, it's even better, you know, according to, according to the Kabbalah. So this is the reason, the reason why we want people to learn Torah at night. Because next day, he'll have chesed, you know? Meaning what? That his day will go better, you know? More chesed. Less dinim, you know? Less judgments. You know how it is, right? You wake up sometimes in the morning, you go, you know, and things are not going the right way. You know? Everything is like wrong, you know? Lo right? It's not going, you know? <laughs> Whatever. So if you learn Torah at night, it's going to go better. That's the, you know, that's the thing, you know? It gives you chesed. That's the thing. So a person has to know that, right? So it says in the Talmud, once you're after two biyab, now start to learn more Torah at night because you have, now you have more time. The night is longer. That's the idea, right? Okay. Good, you got the idea. I want to tell you one more thing, another thing which is also very interesting, which is that, you know, it says in the Talmud, Misha Nichnas Av, right? When Av comes in, right? Mimatim Besimcha. We do less Simcha, right? That's one thing. So, also there's another thing it says in the Talmud. It says there, right, that if you have a judgment, if you have a din, you know, with a goy, right? Don't, don't go to uh, Bet Din with him, you know, Bet Mishpat, right, to the court. Don't go to him, with him, in Chodesh Av, when the Av starts. This is not the time. Why? Because the Mazal of the Goy is higher, and the Mazal of the Jew is a little bit lower, you know? So, this is not the time to go to court with the Goy, you know? So try to find a better time. So what's the best of time to go to, to court with the Goy? In Chodesh Adar, you know? Then the Mazal of the Jew is high, right? And the Mazal of the Goy is down, right? So this is the better time. So if you can do it in Adar, right, that's much better. You're going to succeed more in your court case, right? Whatever you have with the, against the Goy, whatever it is, right? That's, that's, that's one thing. But the thing is like this. Now the question is, okay, I understand that. But when does this end, you know, in Chodesh Av, that the Mazal is not so good? When does it end? It's like all Chodesh Av or only until Tisha Be'av or until Tu Be'av? Where does it stop, this, this problem? You know, this is the question. So the truth is, you know, that there's several opinions about this brought down. But in the Zohar Kadosh, in the Ritva, it says in the Ritva that it's all Chodesh Av, you know, from beginning to end. The Mazal is not good. 
you know, all the Chodesh. It's not good. But the Zohar Kadosh says not like that. It says Zohar Kadosh, it's really from, right, uh, until Tisha B'Av. And that's it, right? After that, it's not. It's not really so bad. You know? So therefore, if you have a case, you know, against the Goy, and you have to go in Chodesh Av, so after Tisha B'Av, it's okay. You know, you can go. It's, uh, it's not, not so bad, you know? Uh, but from Chodesh, Rosh Chodesh Av to Tisha B'Av, this is the worst time to go, you know? Uh, against the Goy in, in a court case, right? So you should pick the right time, you know? And this way... Things will, like the rest of the show, go better. I remember one time, when I was, you know, younger, you know, in my younger days, when I was a bachur, so I had a, you know, a car, you know, and, uh, you know, I was driving over here in New York, and uh, had an accident, you know. So what happened was that, um, right, so I had an accident, you know. So what happened was that uh, the insurance company that I had didn't want to pay, you know, for, for the damage, you know. And uh, it wasn't really my fault either. But either way, right, they didn't want to pay. For some reason, you know, bad company, you know. There are some companies, you know, that are bad. You know, they don't, they don't treat you right, you know. Uh, especially the, the new ones, you know, they come. You know, new company comes, you know, and they're, they're terrible, you know. Like they, they try to cheat you every way they, they can. You know, this is the way it is, right, with the bad companies. So what happened was that they, they refused. So I, had, I knew that I had to sue them, you know. I had, I had no choice. You know? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to get a penny for my damages, you know. Uh, so it happened, right, that it was at this time, you know, in Chodesh Av. You know, that I had to go, to go to court because my car was, you know, wrecked, you know. I had to, I had to get it fixed already. <laughs> There's no time, you know, to play games anymore, you know. So I asked my rabbi, I called my rabbi, you know. I told him, I said, listen, you know, it's Chodesh Av now. Can I go to, you know, to, to court with the insurance company, right? Small claims court, you know, no lawyer, you know, just myself, you know. Small claims, you know. It's, it's enough, it's enough for me. So he told me, after Tisha B'Av, you can go, you know, like the Zohar says, you know. So I did, you know, I went, and I broke Hashem, I did pretty good, you know. I could have done even better if I was smarter, I was just not experienced, you know. If I had more experience in the court, I could have done better. You know what, you know what happened, right? This guy, the lawyer, came, you know, from the insurance company, and he comes to me, you know, before we go into the court. You know, he tells me, he says, excuse me, I want to talk with you, he says. You know. I said, okay, what do you want? So, well, so he says, you know what, let's make a, you know, pshara, you know, let's make a deal. You know what I mean, before we go in, right, you know, right? If you've ever been to court, you know that, right? So he tells me, listen, he says, I'll give you $1,000, you know, okay? And we'll finish it, right? That's it, come on, you know? But I told him, I said, what are you talking about? The damage is $2,500. What, what do you mean $1,000, you know? I told him, I said, so he, I got him up, you know, more, like 2000 you know? But I settled with him at 2000 you know? I should, have t- I should have even gone more, you know? But uh, we, we closed at 2000 and that was it, right? We finished, you know? But anyway, right, it was, it was good. We didn't have to go into the court. It was just, we did everything outside in the hallway. You know, in the ulam over there, right? In the court. We finished everything over there. That's the way it is. Baruch Adonai Le'olam, Amen, Amen. Rebbe Chani Abit HaShomer, 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 Rebbe Chani